on today's video, we're going to talk about 10 things that you'll only find in Florida. As you already know, the state of Florida is a crazy place, and we're going to explore some of the things that make Florida unique. This is a state that's known for having crazy things that you will see nowhere else. And after living in Florida for over 20 years, we are very familiar with the antics of Florida. And that's what we're going to discuss today. And if I miss anything, make sure you hit the comment section. I'm just going to go with the 10 things that I think are the most resounding crazy and bizarre about the sunshine state of florida and number one is going to be one of the most obvious state of florida has so many crazy things going on but the reptiles in this state are just crazy from cuban anoles like we're looking at here to iguanas to pythons to alligators there are so many reptiles in this state. Some are native, like the American alligator, and others have been brought from all over the world, giving Florida one of the most unique collections of animals outside of, like, Madagascar. So if giant pythons or a Nile monitor living in your backyard scares you, then Florida is definitely not the place for you. Even after living in Florida for over 20 years, we often discover new types of reptiles living in our community. I kid you not, my wife Katie, on her way to work, just kidding, she's unemployed, she was going to get some Starbucks, ran into a chameleon, a dang chameleon. Number two is the Florida man. How could you forget Florida man? If you don't know what a Florida man is... It is an individual that resides in the state of Florida that has some peculiar characteristics of just completely being sunburnt in the head. It's somebody who has really lost their mind. And these types of people can be found throughout the entire state of Florida. So you're at the gas station next thing you know there's somebody screaming in your face. Part of life in Florida. And usually Florida man isn't originally from Florida, but he ends up in Florida somehow. And here he is outside of a gas station or begging on a street corner. Florida man is a unique phenomenon. These are the news stories you hear about where you're like, where on earth did this person's brain malfunction? Do they even have a brain? Who knows? But Florida man is definitely a unique thing. Moving on to number three, fugitives on vacation. So you got a war in Atlanta. You shot up a gas station with your homies, and now the feds are looking for you. Instead of going to hide out somewhere in Montana, you decide, let me just enjoy my vacation until I get caught. You wouldn't believe how many people get in trouble in other states, and when the law is looking for them, they think that Florida is a place they need to go to hide out. And Florida has so many criminals that are wanted in other states. It is like a normal occurrence. Probably 5 or 10% of the people that are booked in southwest Florida actually have warrants from other places. And if you listen to news stories from other states, you'll find out that the people that committed the crimes, when they're finally picked up on their warrants happen to be somewhere in Florida. Not sure what makes them want to come here, but a lot of fugitives come to Florida. Number four is the fishing. One of the craziest things about Florida is the things that you're going to catch while you are fishing. From crazy seagull looking type of snakes to sawfish that are giant, to sharks, to sea turtles. There's no end to the wild crap you're going to see while you're fishing in Florida. Whether you're fishing in fresh water or salt water, there's native and, again, non-native animal species that you can catch. Anything from South American giant fish to piranhas to snakeheads. There's so much crap that you're going to find while fishing that's going to creep you out and scare you. Why Florida is able to hold so many different types of animals from other parts of the world. 
probably has something to do with the tropical weather year-round. Moving on to number five, No Hablo Inglés a City. One of the weird, strange things about Florida is that in Florida, you don't exactly need to know English. And you may find yourself in a business trying to get some tacos, and the employees will be like, Oh, yeah, say that you know I'm in Glam. So if you don't like that, then Florida is definitely not the state for you because there's a lot of people here that frankly don't give a crap about learning English and they're able to live normal lives, have normal jobs, and live in normal houses despite the fact they refuse to learn English, especially in the southern part of the state. So if that bothers you or you don't like it, you may want to find another place to reside because it's just a fact of life in Florida. You don't exactly need English to survive here. Moving on to number six, road mines. And what I mean is people who purposely blockade roads or put up obstacles on the road to make sure that you are not able to go into a particular place or to puncture your tires to then offer you a tire repair service. As messed up as this sounds, some communities like Immokalee, Belle Glade, LaBelle, Cluiston, Corlear County, Lee County, people will put a damper on your transportation by making makeshift road mines when you drive over them you get a flat tire and then they show up with a truck offering you to change your tire you'll notice that if you're driving through florida you may find up to 20 vehicles disabled on the side of the road on particular roads particular days definitely shady and very common number seven is scamming florida is the credit card fraud capital of america people here are doing all types of scams from making credit card skimmers and installing them in gas stations some people in florida don't even carry their credit card they use cash to fill up because there's so many scams that are based out of florida in fact some parts like broward county are considered to be a mecca of scammers so your credit card can be stolen or you can be scammed out of a business contract. Contractors are shady. Realtors are shady. It's just about anything you do in Florida, you need to have your wits about you because this is the scamming capital of America. And there's all types of con artists from roofing contractors to landscapers. You name it, there's a scam. And if you're buying a new car, even that can be stolen. Moving on to number eight. The food in Florida is absolutely crazy. Florida has a food scene that is like no other. With Caribbean influences like Puerto Rico and Cuba, you also have a food truck scene late at night in neighborhoods. It's a food scene unlike any other state. Haitian restaurants that don't have a menu. So when you walk in, you don't just get to order whatever you want. You kind of have to ask them what they're serving that day the city of tampa has a huge cuban sandwich scene the city of miami has some of the biggest collections of caribbean food you're going to find in the entire country and pretty much the whole entire state has its own food scene going on that is unique and different where sometimes you can get food very late at night something you will not find in other regions of the country Number nine are the snowbirds. These are the people that live in other states but decide to come to Florida only for the winter. And what's crazy about Florida is that while it is so packed and crammed up during the winter, it's an absolute ghost town during the summer. And that means that real estate in the entire state, the prices reflect that all these people want to be here during the winter. But in the summer when they're gone, the local residents still have to pay the price of real estate for a bunch of people that don't even live here. And these people, when they come down, they are absolutely crazy. There's even homeless people that are starting to come down to Florida for the winter. They live in their state up north, but then they come to Florida as homeless snowbirds. Snowbirds used to be just rich people. 
anybody can be a snowbird nowadays and it is definitely a weird thing about florida moving on to number 10 it is the lawlessness one of the strangest things about florida is that while some things are illegal in the state that doesn't mean that law enforcement is actively going to enforce those things you may find yourself in a place like miami at night where the smoke fills the air or police officers are working in a cloud of smoke and you're wondering isn't this illegal in florida and even though it's illegal law enforcement is not enforcing it they just don't care the same thing can be said about the new law with your sound system it's illegal to play music out of a car for it to be heard more than 25 feet away and even though it's illegal i find myself in traffic blasting subwoofers right next to a police officer knowing they're not going to pull me over or driving an atv on a road knowing it's illegal but knowing that in the state of florida it's not really a big deal there it is those are the top 10 crazy things particular things about florida that make it unique a state where you can do whatever the crap you want in front of the police and they may not actually give a crap for arresting or finding you a state where you don't need to know english Unique, different in many ways, that's Florida.